Hey guys, welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. Today I'm going to do another Melly D inspired pour. I really, really, really want to do one that changes and I want to see if the mix that I tried out last time works again because the last one was really, really cool. Now, I did browns and greens and white. I think I did brown, green, and white in the last one. So this time I want to go with a green theme. So I have my colors pre-mixed. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm not going to go into the exact mixing on this one. Um, just because I don't have a lot of permission. This one's a bit thick. I don't have a lot of, I don't, I, I never even talked to Melly D. I just watch her show. I subscribe. This one's really thick. So I'm going to add some more water to these. Um... I, I subscribe to her channel, and I just kind of been figuring things out as I go. Where is my water? Right here. So I just I'm adding water to make sure that this stays uh, melted ice cream consistency. My the mix that I did, um, I'm not gonna elaborate a lot, but I did. I think it's three parts paint. One tablespoon of Liquitex and then water to a melted ice cream consistency. So that's just about how I got to this um, consistency. And this is what I did last time, just different colors. These are all Artist Loft. I have emerald green, um, aqua green. Neon green, and I added a bit of this green and the aqua green to the neon green to make that color, and Artist Loft white. So, I'm going to do only two pour puddles this time because I don't want it to be too, too busy. I just want two puddles. And what I, I believe what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, what I do on this side, I'm going to do the opposite of this one. So, I'm going to work my way. I'm going to do white first on this side, black on that side. Work my way up and down these. So here goes nothing. Let's let's start the pour. So I'm just going to start creating my puddles. And like I said, I'm going to go opposite. I have these on color scale, so Whatever I have left over, I'm going to pour along the sides. Just making sure I scrape out my cups and use it all. Also, it gives the paint a little time to work. So, that's good. And... Okay, I have 
have some white left over. All right. And now I'm going to go in an S motion like this. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm going to pick it up and rotate it. I think I'm going to pull it toward me more first. Now I'm going to go down that way. I'm going to go down this way. And create maybe that black really took over. Okay, so the black took over a lot, and um, I poured some uh, a lot of it off, um, and I'm kind of hoping that that will do the trick. So there's some places over here that need to be covered still, so I'm just going to help it along. I'm already getting some um, reaction on the canvas, which is good. I like all of my sides to be covered completely. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let me wipe my hands. What did I do with my towel? I'm going to let you guys uh, watch while I wipe my hands off. Um, and I'll be back in just a bit. Um, I'm going to try and time lapse, lapse this one as well. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy what you see. Okay guys, it still seems to be changing. I'm going to stop filming now and I'm going to uh, pull you guys down and let you take a look at this. And if it changes anymore, I will definitely let you know. Um, but I am actually really, really enjoying this particular look. I love the um, very simple design and I love that the colors are represented. I am a little sad that my light green um, did not show up as well in this pour but I mean it is what it is. Uh, I really like the black and the green the dark green um, and the aqua green all together. I think it's really beautiful. I really like this pour and this black is you I don't know if you guys can tell it. I'm gonna pull you down. But this black is this beautiful um sheen to it uh that it just it's beautiful. I'm gonna pull you down, okay? So if you guys look you can see the metallics in the black and I'm really excited because it didn't really mix in with the other colors. So it's kind of centralized. Here's some of those cells that pop up after the fact. There's a lot of them. I really like that one right there. Love this area right here. This area right here. And then this guy right here just goes all the way through and back around. I really like this. It's very cool. And see if you're in focus. Well, that is my pour for today. It is a Melly D inspired puddle pour. And I'm really, really excited at how it changed. Um, like I said, I will come back in a couple hours and make sure. What I'm going to do right now is, um, right here I saw where the uh, 
paint kind of uh, separated from the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that up with some of the paint from the side. And what I'm going to do to do this, what I'm going to use to do this is uh, just a, an acrylic paintbrush. I'm going to pick some colors that look like should go in that area. And I'm just going to plop it on there with the brush and leave it be. Um, simply because I just don't want any exposed canvas. I have a few little dots here. And I'm just tapping it on. And looking around for any other spots. I'm going to wipe some of that green off with this brush and come over here and pick up some of this aqua because I see a spot right here. I don't mind that you can kind of see the streaks on the sides. I just don't want it on the front of that whole entire painting, like on this part. So, just gonna do like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a, um, I'm gonna grab one of these, um, thumbtacks. And I'm just going to make sure that this kind of blends into the painting. Kind of feather out the edges a bit. guys well there you have it um, I'm gonna stop filming now and I'm going to leave it be and like I said if it changes as any changes in any form I will um, record some more but I'm gonna give my iPad a rest and uh, I will see you guys next time hey guys so it is now around 9 30 at night and I just wanted to give you guys a last look before um, all is said and done and it has changed a bit since I last filmed so I'm gonna give you guys one last look um, and I'm gonna pull you down um, I want to tell you uh, around this area here I got some bigger green cells that have changed in since the last time I showed you guys these green cells pulling through here have gotten a lot bigger and more defined this is starting to dry right here, which is fine. That looks cool. And where I added the paint, where the um, paint had separated from the canvas, that looks really cool as well. Also, these cells, I feel, in this white strip here got a little bit bigger, and the cells got a little more defined in this black area right here as well. So I'm going to pull you guys down and give you guys a close-up of this um, one more time before we end this video. That is the picture of the painting. Pull you guys down. And I'm gonna bring you down here and show you what I'm seeing. All of these, um, I'm gonna start at this corner here. That is where I added the paint um, to make sure that 
the canvas was covered and as you can see it's starting to dry you can see where the shimmer goes from wet to dry and then if you go up here to this white area you can see all these little green cells with black around it has formed and all the green cells in the white paint moving down has gotten a little bigger I feel like these cells right here developed a little more as well and cells have developed in the teal color so then if you move over this way these green cells here in this corner got a little bigger as well as these cells forming in this white area and this black area I'm trying to move slowly so you can see now there were cells in this black area before but I feel like they got a little more defined and a little bit of the teal has come out in the process up here some really pretty cells came out in the white I was kind of hoping that cells would come out in the teal right here where the green I'm sorry where the teal kind of gets a little um, thin and uh, the gr the black was coming would come through and make cells but it didn't but what I really like is this little vein right here of green it looks really cool I hope it dries that way all right so I'm gonna bring you guys up make sure it's focused and that is one last look at this pour I will show you next week um, when it's all dry uh, how it ended up thank you guys for watching I really really am happy that you guys stopped by to paint with me today um, if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications to get new videos whenever I post them I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you guys were inspired thank y'all for stopping by bye bye y'all Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.